<laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to Functional Fitness KO. I'm certified personal trainer Karen O'Sullivan, and today is Webcam Wednesday, <laughs> which means that I typically um, answer a question from one of my viewers, but today I'm going to actually answer a question that one of my students had at school. The question was, I, I thought a really good one, it was about BMI, and do, does BMI um, tell us how much fat we have on our body? My answer to this question was no, it doesn't. BMI is a weight classification. It tells you, um, according to how tall you are, you should weigh so many pounds, basically. Um, if you want to find an easy chart to figure out what your BMI is, I will have an annotation below in a second. But if you are a mathematician and you want to figure it out yourself, all you have to do is divide your weight in kilograms by your height in meters squared. So, BMI. Weight classification doesn't tell you how much fat you have on your body. Um, it's Usually the quick and dirty, doctors will use it. If you go to the doctor, they'll check your height, they'll check your weight, and they'll say, yep, you're in a healthy BMI range or a, you're overweight or you're underweight or whatever. Um, to be classified as being obese by BMI, you have to have um, a BMI of 30 or higher. How many times can I say BMI in one video? Um, <laughs> anyways, um, the bad thing about BMI is that if you are a very lean, muscular individual, BMI could classify you as being overweight or even potentially obese even though you have a low body fat percent. So if you're one of those kinds of people, you're very lean and muscular, I would have your body fat assessed. You can use skin fold, cal skin fold calipers, excuse me. Um, you can use a bioelectrical impedance analysis. Tanita has some really great ones. Um, but that's the down and dirty on BMI. Thanks for watching my video, and please subscribe to Functional Fitness Kale.